Hi. Hi. It looks really depressing. <laughs> I'm kind of going through it right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my period too. So hi, my name is Lala. <laughs> like, my contacts are getting foggy and I can't see anything. <laughs> today we're gonna be late. <laughs> and so today, I have a brand new video for you guys. So, um, I'm kind of going through it right now as you can probably see. I wish I could tell you that I can cry and command, but no, like, this is like my actual tears. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about something really traumatic that happened to me. So, um, we've been having a little bit of a problem. We have been experiencing a lot of roaches coming into our house and trying to snatch us while we're asleep. Okay? And one day, I was minding my own business in my own room. I was about to clean my closet. It had literally been months since I last cleaned my closet. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to clean my closet today. And I opened the freaking door of my closet. And guess what? There was two cockroaches having sex. And they were not the same one. One of them had wings and one of them didn't have wings. Ah! I need to chill out. Chill out. Hold on. Let me get a kombucha. I will be right back. I'm back. I'm a fan of anything. It's a Brockhampton, but like this is like too much. Like when I'm not talking about them, like I'm wearing their merch. Okay, that's besides the point. So, yeah, they were doing the dirty in my in my closet, and I screamed at the top of my lungs. So I was terrified. And my mom obviously noticed that I screamed, so she rushed into my room. She rushed into my room, and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, there's some roaches in my... She, she got the little spraying thing to kill them, and she just went into my closet. She sprayed them, and she closed the door, and I literally... I, I did not go into that closet for maybe three months because I was scared that I was going to find them dead but still together. <laughs> and I just... I would not be able to handle that. So a couple days ago... A couple of days ago, I had a pimple on my forehead, and I didn't know what to use because the pimple stay from Glossier don't work. So I was like, what do I use? So I decided to use some of that, um, what's it called? Some of that toothpaste. I put the toothpaste on my pimple, and I decided to go to sleep. But I, I felt something weird, like something, there was an intuition, there was something that the universe was trying to tell me. And I like just couldn't go to sleep, like I felt uncomfortable. I felt like somebody was waiting for me to go to sleep, for them to be able to attack. So, I was like, Leslie, you need to go to sleep, tomorrow you have to wake up early as hell. So I was like, alright. You right, Leslie. Let me go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. So I relaxed myself. I said my prayer. And then I closed my eyes. <laughs> and I felt something near my forehead. <laughs> and like right away, like I knew it. Like I was... <laughs> this is like an actual phobia. Like this is what a phobia looks like. <laughs> And then, like, I knew right away, like, I just knew that it was a roach in my room. <laughs> this is, like, a lot for me. Like, I know it seems very dramatic, but you guys don't understand. Like, ever since I was little, I've always had a cockroach phobia. And I know they're called cockroaches, but I say cockroaches. I don't know why. And then I, like, I, like, I, I wore glasses, so I couldn't really see. And my glasses were in my bed, and, like, they were, like, on the side. It was not this bad, so I just got up because I felt something. Like, I didn't feel no feel. I didn't feel nothing, but I just, I felt like, like something was in here. And then, <laughs> I need to chill out. Okay. I need some coasters, is that what it's called? So, so I was like, I, I felt something and I got up. And I went to turn on the light, and I was scared to reach to get my glasses because I felt like something was going to jump out at me. But I was like, I need my glasses to see. So I grabbed my glasses, and I put my glasses on. And then I looked around the bed, 
and I didn't see nothing. And I was like, I'm not convinced. So I lift up the collar, and the cat was right there. It was like this big. <laughs> Like, like, I can see roaches anywhere, but if you ever see a big-ass roach in your bed, that's like, you just like, like, they just got no respect for this. And my dog, she like sleeps with me. And my dog got up because, like, super quick because she, like, saw that I was, like, oh, oh, and she probably was scared, too, and she, like, got up, like, at the edge of my bed, and she was just standing there. <laughs> and then the roach crawled on my dog. Like, we're on this, but, like, the dog. And it was thicker than her little arm because I have a chihuahua. <laughs> and my dog, she, like, jumped. She was, like... And she got out of the bed, and the roach fell, <laughs> and as soon as it fell, I killed it. <laughs> I have, you guys can't see probably, but I literally have like goosebumps all over my body. So I don't know what to do. I'm about to clean my room right now, again. I'm gonna make sure there's no cockroaches. Cockroaches. I'm gonna make sure there's no cockroaches in my room. Not a single roach. I literally didn't sleep until like 1.30 in the morning because I just couldn't get over it. Like I felt like there was another one coming and it was, if you guys, I don't know if you guys were able to like put two and two together, but it, it was because of the, the toothpaste. I want to end this in a little positive note. Um, so I have a dog, if you guys haven't seen her, she's like a little chihuahua. She's a little chihuahua and she's very cute. Um... She's like a little angel, like I used to think she was like the devil, but then I got a new dog, and <laughs> this dog is the devil. I'm here to present you guys to my little puppy. Um, she's about 10 weeks old now, she's very cute, uh, she doesn't have a name yet, I don't think she's gonna ever get a name because I can't name her, so yeah, this is my puppy, are you guys ready? Again, she doesn't have a name. My sister calls, tries to call her Brandy, but it's just not sticking. Um, I like the name Bully because she just has such a, like, bully personality. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering, which I know you guys are not, her and Bella don't get along, like, at all. Like, they hate each other, so it's been a nightmare. And I shouldn't have gotten this other puppy, but I did.